good Sunday morning, everyone. How is everyone doing on this day? This is Minister Tremaine here, back at you with another inspirational message on this lovely fall Sunday. Yes, a beautiful fall foliage and beautiful colors. Amen. And throughout the fall season, uh, <clears throat> during the inspirational messages and also my uh, cooking videos, We'll also we'll be uh, sharing some fall pictures in between uh, on the videos. And also we'll be uh, doing a fall foliage photos and videos uh, sometime in the later this fall season. <clears throat> Amen. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the word on today. I'm excited about the uh, about the, the word of the Lord that's, that's going forth on today. Amen. You know, there are churches all over the globe. Thousands of people are coming together today to congregate, to worship and serve one God, one Savior, one Lord above all heavens. Amen. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And uh, thousands of messages are going forth. Amen. At all uh, churches from... Uh, uh, Elevation Church, amen. Uh, Bet Pastor uh, Stephen Furtick is going to bring forth a good message. Uh, Transformation Church, I bet Pastor Mike Todd has a good message for us on today, amen. Uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes, the Potter House Church, amen. Uh, churches all over the place are uh, going to be bringing forth thousands of messages on today. Amen. Well, back here at home, <clears throat> uh, Minister Tremaine here is going to bring forth a message on today. And then uh, we're going to go to the book of John, uh, uh, chapter 8, verses 31, all the way to 41. Amen. But we're going to uh, read uh, verses, uh, let's see, we're going to read uh, verse uh, uh, four here. Well, actually, no, J John chapter eight, amen, verses, I, I believe, 31 and four. Amen. I might have to go back and, and re re catch that, amen, in uh, and, and a little while here. But uh, John uh, eight, chapter eight, it's in chapter eight, and I'm going to read it here. Uh, I may have got the verses mixed up when I, yes, did a little. Uh, updated to my message here. <laughs> it says, I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in the truth as we received the commandment from the Father. And now I beseech thee, lady, as, I mean, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that ye, that as ye heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. Amen. And the title of today's message is going to be uh, the direction, a new direction in obedience. Amen. Uh, the word of the year is direction, amen, and uh, uh, this year we're going to, the word of the year is direction, and uh, this year we're we're uh, touching on uh, a lot of things and the walk of obedience and being obedient, amen, and uh, obedience, your obedience pays off, and we will lead you to eternity. Amen. Did you know that if you just obey the Lord? Amen. And did you know that if you just walk in God's calling and do the will of the Lord, you will be blessed. Amen. God will bless you beyond measures if you just obey him. Just obey the Lord and do what he told you to do. And uh, you ain't got to worry about a thing if you just be obedient to his word and to his will. Amen. And uh, today I want to read about what is obedience. Amen. When you obey, you submit to those who are in authority and comply with the word of the Lord. Amen. Rather right or wrong, we must submit 
and obey, put aside the will of the flesh and go with the flow of reality. Amen. And let the Lord correct those who are unjust. We got to learn to be obedient and obey those who have rule over us. Amen. If we expect to be blessed, you may not agree with the opinions uh, on your job or the way things should be on your job. Amen. You may not agree with uh, the way uh, the, 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 the system is when it comes to, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the way the, the, the way uh, the laws are. Amen. The way a bill should be paid. Amen. It is our job, amen, to comply with the word and be obedient to what thus says the word, amen, and obey those that have rule over you, amen, and you will surely be blessed if you just be obedient, and uh, obedience is better than sacrifice, you know, we, it's better to be, to obey than to sacrifice, because if you just go against the will and the authority of God, amen, you just sacrifice your blessing, you just sacrifice, uh, what could have came right into your hands by being disobedient. Amen. God could be at the point of blessing you to, to, to walk out of uh, uh, of the Apple store or the electronic store with a new computer or phone in your hand. Amen. And if you make one mistake and disobey the Lord and, 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 and you miss out on your blessing. Amen. So it is better to obey than to sacrifice. So if you have a hard time being obedient, let this year be the year where you walk in a new direction of obedience. And the only way you're going to change is turn from your flesh and, 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 and mind this flesh. Amen. And walk in the spirit. Amen. Walk in the spirit and then let the Lord correct those who are unjust. We got to learn to just do just do it. Just do it. Even if you don't agree to it, especially on your job. Amen. Especially in your household when your parents tell you to do something. Children, please be obedient to your parents. It's better to obey than to sacrifice. There are a lot of kids dead and gone from here before they time because they disobeyed their parents and didn't follow through what their parents told them to do. Amen. So children, obey your parents and the Lord for this is right. Amen. And honor your father and your mother. Don't go cussing your par parents out and, 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 and cussing at your mom and calling your mom the B word and jumping on your dad and, and beating your dad up. Amen. That's not the will of God. That's not but the flesh. That's the devil. Your days won't be long if you do that. Amen. You never, ever, ever curse authority. Amen. Never curse authority. If somebody says do something, do it, whether you agree to it or not. Amen. You've got to be obedient because the word says what it says and it shall not return unto the Lord void. Amen. Amen. So let this year be the year that you walk in obedience. Amen. Tell your parents you sorry you disobeyed them and then repent and ask the Lord to forgive you. Amen. Amen. You can do it because this is the year of a new direction and walking in obedience. Amen. So let's, children of God, we're going to walk in obedience. Let's walk in obedience on today. If you think about this here for the decades, a decade is a period of 10 years. Amen. So uh, we have been steeped in a culture whose battle cry is think for yourself and question authority. Amen. Don't trust your parents. See, the reason why a lot of children disobey their parents is because they don't trust their parents. Amen. But here's the thing. You still got to be obedient. Amen. If you don't trust, don't, they don't trust the government. Amen. Don't trust your boss. Even don't trust your spouse. Amen. The idea of trusting someone is enough to simplify to be obedient. You still got to be obedient, even if you don't trust whomever. Amen. Even if you don't trust your boss, you still got to obey. Amen. Even if you don't trust your parent, you still got to be obedient. Hallelujah. If your parent said, don't go down the street over there to that house, 
Don't go down the street over there to that house. Hallelujah. If your parents say, don't touch them bank accounts, leave that money there. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God, there's a reason why your parent is telling you what they telling you. Amen. You're going to have to make me rise from my seat old this morning. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling excited old today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm getting excited all this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Amen. Let's give the praises and the honor to the Lord on this morning. Amen. So you may not trust them. You may not come across as understanding. But just know that if you just trust God, it'll all work out for the good. Hallelujah. It may not seem like it. It may not feel like it. Amen. It may not even appear like it. But if you just let go, take your hands off of it and obey the will of the Lord, it will work out for your good. Hallelujah. Just obey God. Do what the Lord says. We may not understand why it may happen, why it had to go the way it went. But if we just obey the Lord, amen, God will work in your favor. Because the Bible says, for uh, all things work together for the good, amen, for those that are called according to his purpose, amen. So that's why we just got to obey God and fall in the will and in the plans that the Lord has for his children. Amen. You see, a lot of us don't trust the government or, or trust people nowadays. And then we have the nerve to come across as, you not the boss of me, don't tell me what to do. Amen. We got that old grouchy, haughty, mean attitude, stuck up attitude. Acting like you can't submit to authority, you better submit to authority. Amen. Amen. How, how, how are you going to allow the Lord to bless you if you got a stuck-up, mean, and, and, and haughty attitude? Amen. You may not like the way somebody talk to you or yell at you. Amen. You better take some heat or stay out of the kitchen. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We may not agree with it, but we still got to be obedient and obey. Amen. We can't take matters into our own hands and undermine the authority. Amen. Because then we're in a world of trouble when we do. Amen. So the real problem for the church today, or let me say it this way, we have allowed disobedience to become a real problem. Many churches are throwing their hands up and saying we can we can call on people to live under the authority of God and the scriptures or they'll leave and go somewhere else. Amen. We got folk that are just leaving the church because they don't like what the pastor's telling them. We got folk leaving the church because uh, they feel that the people don't like them. Amen. They feel like they don't fit in. Amen. The real reason why we go to church is to assemble ourselves in the house of worship to serve and, and praise the Lord and get a good word, profound word from the Lord. We don't go to church to be under people. We don't go to church to be in cliques. We don't go to church to make friends. Amen. We go to church to serve the Lord, to worship. Amen. We go to church to, to, uh, to bring forth good steward. Amen. We go to church to, to serve the, 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 the community. Amen. We go to church to, to hear a word from the Lord. And this is my word on today. Don't ever put your trust and your confidence in a pastor or no folks at your church or anything. You put all your trust and confidence in the Lord. Amen. Because the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Amen. I love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your soul. Amen. And, 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 and if you just do those things, Amen. You will end up going to church for the right reasons. Amen. We're not going to church for a crowd. Amen. Or to meet or to try to try to get all up in folk business and all that kind of stuff in the church. Amen. 
and we don't leave because of the people. Amen. Don't let nobody run you from your church or run you from your job. Amen. Don't, don't ever let that ever happen. Amen. So the response to this perceived problem is we try to make church the church more user-friendly. Amen. We try to make the church user-friendly. Amen. We got to make the church welcoming as saints of God. That way people will want to come. Amen. That people will want to serve the Lord on today. Amen. Amen. See, the problem with people today is we want to do what feels right. And then we want to undermine the authority. We want to try to make the world smaller so we can have more control so we can undermine authority. Amen. And I can understand how most of you feel. And I get it. Amen. But here's the thing. When we disobey God's word, we set ourselves up to miss out on the true blessing and calling that God has waiting for you. Amen. Don't let one dose of disobedience. I'm going to say this here. Don't let one dose of disobedience cause you to miss out on your full blessing. Amen. It's, it, it pays to be obedient. Amen. Pays to walk in the will of the Lord. Amen. And parents... Parents, 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 teach your kids to obey the will of the Lord. Teach them to obey uh, their, their school teacher in school. Amen. Teach your kids not to be acting out in, in a school uh, classroom. And teachers yell at them and say, you sit down right now. You teach your kid to be submissive to the, to the instructor. Amen. Amen. Because the devil don't care who he messes with. The devil going to get in your kids and cause your kids to get kicked out of school. Amen. So teach your kids to be obedient to the Lord. Amen. Give them good instruction. Amen. Because a parent, if you don't have to hear the spirit drop this in my mind, the parent can be the greatest teacher for their kids. Amen. The greatest teacher for their kids. And I say that because... The parent, they give birth to the child, they raise the child up, they they potty train them, they 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 teach them how to uh, how to do things, uh, you know, and then they get the the proper resources to help the child, uh, like get potty trained. Um, they, you know, they they put them in like a preschool where they can they can learn things, and some kids are homeschooled where they learn at home, amen. Um, they can they can get taught, you know, different lessons so that way they can become a successful vessel, amen. And the most important thing to teach your kids is the word of God, hallelujah. The word of God, the word of God. So today's lesson is it's gonna be on the word of God. So teach your kids about the word. And get that word instilled in that child. Amen. Because the Bible says train up a child in the way it should go. And when it grows old, it will not depart from it. Amen. So train up your child in the way it should go. Amen. And uh, we may have our own opinions and outlook about things. But just know that our obedience will allow God to open up the doors of heaven. And pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. And when we obey the Lord, we receive power. Amen. We receive power. Amen. When we obey the Lord. And in Matthew 7 and 17, it says, Jesus told his disciples that a good tree bears good fruit. And every bad bears bad fruit. Then he said that not everyone who says, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he does the will of the Father. Amen. You ever heard of uh, one bad apple spoils the bunch? Amen. Uh, one dose of disobedience can spoil the bunch, and it could ruin it for everybody. It can ruin it for your whole team at your job. It can ruin it for, for your whole family in the household. Amen. So it pays to be obedient and do what us says the Lord. Amen. You see, 
the domain creating and following a, a, a list of do's and don't as the Pharisees did in John's day having rules and regulations for every imaginable circumstance in your life, which some people don't want to follow rules and regulations. They want to do it their way. You see, it means studying the scripture to discern God's will and looking at your circumstances and applying the word to your life on a daily basis. So if you're asking, how can I do that? The answer is, is that God has sent his Holy Spirit into every believer his discerning power to every believer. And we got to be obedient to what thus says the Lord. So if we really have a relationship with God, the Father and the Holy Spirit, he will guide us to walk in obedience. Amen. To walk in obedience. Amen. See, this, there's, been, there's, all, there's some good benefits in being obedient and obeying the Lord. Amen. The love of the Lord is, is perfected in us. And if we keep his word, now uh, does John mean what he says? Love of God is perfected in us. It could mean our love for the Lord. John could be saying that when we do God's commandments, we demonstrate the love that is in us and in, in that we have for the Lord. Amen. Even in our disobedience, God still loves his children because God is love. Even though we fail to obey, God still loves us. Amen. And, 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 and if we just turn from our disobedient ways, turn from our evil ways, amen, he will renew your heart. Saints of God today, let's walk in a new direction in a new season and obey the Lord and keep his commandments and be doers of his word. Being obedient sets a good example for Jesus. Amen. It sets a great example for us to be obedient to him. And I'm going to read this and we're going to go ahead and close on today. What does the benefits of walking in the light of obedience? John tells us that obeying God gives us peace about our relationship with him. In verse 3, John tells us that if we want to know that we know God, we'll keep his commandments. And there is more to the gospel than there is to Christianity. There is more to having a relationship with Jesus Christ, with God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, than just mentally accepting Jesus as your Savior. If you really know God, you will keep his commandments. Not that you just be saved, but you already are, uh, because you are already saved and you want to please the Lord. Amen. And when we just obey the Lord, we please God when we are obedient to him. Amen. We please the Lord when we're obedient. So saints of God, we got to obey in every aspects of our lives, amen. We got to do what the Lord tells us to do, amen. And you got to learn to be quick when God tells you to do something. When God tells you to do something, we got to learn to be quick and we got to do it just like that, amen. Because slow obedience, because uh, if you slow around, that's still considered being disobedient when you slow around. So you got to learn to be on top when God said do something, do it. Amen. Don't be slowful and lazy and, 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 and taking your time. You got to do it right away because every second matters and every second counts. Amen. And it pays to be obedient to the Lord. So when God says, leave those bank accounts alone. Amen. Leave it, that, that money where it's at. Amen. Leave it where it's at. Amen. There's a reason why God is saying, leave it there. And we got to learn to come out of this flesh and not let this flesh get the best of us and let it cause us to do things that we're not supposed to be doing. Amen. We got to learn to just to be obedient, walk in obedience. If somebody says, if, if, if somebody tells you to do something, just do it as they say. And it don't matter how old they is. Amen. Amen. Don't look at age now. It don't matter how old they is. You still be obedient. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I, I hope I was able to touch somebody's heart today with this encouraging message. I encourage you to share this with a friend. Share this with somebody that really needs a word on today. Amen. Hallelujah. And also uh, feel free to, to check out more videos to come and uh, subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. That way you can get the latest on my videos. Amen. And following this video, I'm going to show you a couple more fall uh, pictures uh, that I took earlier in this week. Uh, and then uh, look out for some fall foliage videos and uh, more pictures coming soon to the channel. And also, we got much more cooking videos and inspirational messages to come right here on Inspirations with Tremaine and Tremaine's Great Dishes. Amen. Well, God bless you. Peace be with you. And let the peace of God rest in your heart.